For the past couple of weeks, we've given you simple but effective golf tips to improve your game with Boise State men's and women's golf tips. This week, we're getting the ball closer to the pin with women's head coach, Nicole Bird. I'm here on the practice screen to talk about this week's tip, which is chipping. A lot of people don't realize that 60% of your total score comes from your short game, and it's a really good thing to practice. I really like the short game because there's so many different things that you can do. You can be really creative and come up with all kinds of different shots. So I have my 56 degree wedge here, which is a standard degree for most sand wedges. Um, but one of the fun things I can do with this club is I can change it to a 60 degree wedge or I can change it to a 52 degree wedge just by um, altering a couple different things, which is what I'm going to show you today. So for a standard chip, uh, you really want to start with the ball in the middle of your stance. And I have a narrower stance when I chip than my regular stance, so it's a little bit less than shoulder width apart. But I like to have the ball in the middle of my stance, and I like to have my weight equal on both feet, 50-50. And that's going to give me just a medium trajectory shot, which is um, going to it's going to roll out a little bit, um, but I can get it to stop somewhat quickly. My weight's 50-50, and the ball is in the middle of my stance. Now, if I was going to a shorter pin and I needed the ball to stop, there's a couple things I can do. Uh, to make it do that. So I'm going to move the ball up in my stance towards my left foot as a right-handed golfer. Uh, it's going to be my forward foot and I'm going to put most of my weight on my back foot. So I'm going to feel like I'm leaning about 70% of my weight on my, on my right foot, only 30% on my left foot so that I can get the ball to go higher. That's the only thing that I'm changing. And then it's going to stop a lot quicker for a short pin.